custom cages hybrid H3 enclosures are engineered to be safe, strong, dependable, and extremely versatile. The same basic technology can be used for large and small enclosures. The wall panels can contain different types of materials including laminate panels, wire mesh, acrylic, or glass. This versatility is why the hybrid H3 enclosures are so popular for so many different uses. This tutorial will guide you through the basic assembly steps that are applicable for any type of hybrid H3 enclosure regardless of the size, type of panel material, or type of animal that you are housing. There are other video tutorials that will cover accessories that are specific to different uses, but this is the video to start with and to refer to when you are beginning to assemble a hybrid H3 cage. The only tools that you will need that are not provided for you will be a tape measure to measure the parts, a pair of scissors to get into the packing material, and a small Phillips head screwdriver. Read through the assembly instructions thoroughly before beginning to put the cage together. Follow the instructions in the order that they are given. Skipping steps or changing the order may cause you to have to start over, which would be a frustrating experience and possibly damage your cage. If you order a stand or hood for the enclosure, start with those sections first. They will be smaller and easier to manage. You will learn a lot about how to assemble the cage if you build the stand or hood first. The larger the enclosure, the more help you will need to put it together. Even a small cage will be easier to assemble with a little help. Small cages with the longest side under 4 feet can be easily built by two people. A 4 to 8 foot cage needs 2 to 3 people and the large cages need 3 to 4 people. Do not attempt to assemble a cage without adequate help. That is the surest way to become frustrated. Do not be alarmed if you have extra hardware left over when you are done. We include extras just in case you need them. If you have problems with the assembly of your cage, you can call the phone number provided in the instructions or send us an email. We will respond as quickly as we can. Your enclosure will arrive in several boxes. The shipping label will list the total number of boxes included in the shipment. Very rarely, a box will arrive a day later than the rest. Wait until you have all the boxes before starting to assemble the cage. Find the box labeled Instructions Enclosed and unpack that box first. It will include your packing lists and all of your instructions for building the cage. There will be a different packing list for each section of your enclosure and the top line of each packing list will tell you the section that it refers to. The packing lists have charts that include all the parts that are possible with the section, but only the parts that you have been sent will have a number greater than zero in the space to the right of the part. The packing list charts will also tell you the length of each piece of frame member and whether or not the piece is for the height, length, or depth of the unit. The height are vertical frame members, the length and depth are horizontal frame members. You may find it useful later to have each type separated from each other. The panels for the cage also appear in a chart on the packing list with a description of which side of the unit the panel will go into and the dimensions of each panel. The packing list will also have a basic drawing of the unit that the parts on the list will build. This drawing is not exact, nor is it to scale, and it is only intended to help you organize the parts for each section of your enclosure. The only tools that you will need are a small Phillips head screwdriver, a tape measure, a pair of scissors, and the hex allen wrench that is included in the bag of hardware. If you have a cage, stand, and hood, there will be a hardware package for each section, so you will have more than one allen wrench to use. Use the packing lists to separate all the parts for each section of your enclosure into separate piles, so you will be able to find what you need more easily when you need it. They will not all be packaged separately. For example, 
All the longest aluminum frame pieces for the cage, stand, and hood will be in the same box, as will all the largest panels, regardless of which section of the unit they will go into. Use the tape measure to separate the parts according to what is listed on the packing lists. There are going to be a lot of different parts to keep track of. Here is a rundown of what you can expect. For the cage, stand, and hood assemblies, 33C aluminum frame members. These are the structural frame members for the entire enclosure and will make up the skeleton that the panels and doors will fit into. 33S back panel support. If your cage is large enough to need more than one panel on the back or sides of the enclosure, there will be one of these aluminum supports that will be placed between each panel section. U channel. This plastic strip will be snapped onto the outside edges of wire mesh panels before setting the panels into the aluminum frame. Corner joint. There will be one of these joints used in every corner of the cage, hood, and stand to hold all of the 33C aluminum frame members together. Corner cap. These caps will be used on corner joints where a piece of frame is not connected to the joint. There will be two different size screws. The button head socket screw that connects the corner joints to the 33C aluminum frame members and small black sheet metal screws that will be used to attach the corner caps to the corner joints. Draw wedge. These are used to hold the corner joints and the 33C aluminum frame members together. Stacking pin. These are installed between the cage, stand, and hood to hold the entire enclosure together. Lock assembly. If you ordered a lock for the sliding doors. Allen wrench. This will be included in the bag of hardware and will be used to tighten the button head socket screws. If your enclosure includes a removable bottom and pull out tray, the parts from that accessory that you will need during the assembly of the cage will include pull out tray corner cap. This will be attached to the bottom of the cage to create space for the sliding bottom and tray. 3RT track work. This will snap into the bottom frame of the cage and provide the tracks which the bottom and tray will slide in and out of. If you ordered other accessories such as a removable divider or feeding systems, the parts for those accessories will be included in the tutorial sections dedicated to them. When you have all the parts unpacked and organized, you are almost ready to build your cage. Before you start, however, you should learn how the corner joints are put together in the next tutorial, the Corner Joint Assembly.